Kanika buys two bulbs of the following power ratings to decorate her lawn during Diwali. So we can see there are two bulbs A, B. We have the power rating. She connects them in series across a six volt battery as shown. So we have the two bulbs connected in series and it is connected across a six volts battery. We need to figure out the power dissipated in each of these bulbs. Power dissipated in A and power dissipated in B. Now these kind of questions can get a little tricky. So why don't you pause the video first, try to try to work out, try to think of a strategy. How will you approach this question and then we will solve it together. All right, hopefully you have given this a shot. So let's see what all do we have. We have the power ratings of these two bulbs A and B. We have the battery across which they are connected six volts and we know that the bulbs are connected in series. So we need to figure out the power dissipated, right? Since they are connected in series, one thing that we can be sure of is that the same current will pass through each of the bulb. The current I will pass through A and the current I will pass through B. If we were able to figure out this current, then maybe we can figure out the power dissipated, right? What else do we know? We know the power rating of A and B. Well, from here, from this data, we can try and figure out the resistance of these two bulbs because we know that power is V square by R. So we can figure out R. This is V square by P. We already know what P is individually for these bulbs. You also know volt, like this is, this is a 10 volt, 25 watt power rating of bulb A. This is 10 volt, 50 watt power rating of B. So we can figure out R A and R B. We can do that. We can figure out R A and R B. Then what if we added them? We found the equivalent resistance of the circuit and using that using Ohm's law, then we can figure out the current. Okay. So we have some strategy. So let's go step by step. Let's figure out the equivalent resistance of the circuit. Before that, we will need to figure out the individual resistances of these two bulbs. So that becomes the first step. RA is really RA. This is VA square divided by PA and RB. This is VB square divided by PB. So RA, this is VA square. This is 100. I'm just writing 100, 10 square divided by 25. This comes out to be equal to 4 ohms and RB RB let's write that over here RB is VB square again 100 divided by PB so that is 50 this is 2 ohms right all right my cat is going crazy so all right let's find the equivalent resistance now we have 4 ohms and 2 ohms so when you find the equivalent resistance this is RA plus RB this is really 4 plus 2 and this is 6 ohms we know the equivalent resistance. We know the voltage of the cell using Ohm's law. Using Ohm's law, what we can do is we can find the current that is passing through this circuit. So that is the second step using Ohm's law. Ohm's law is V that is equals to IR. If you need to figure out the current, I is equal to V by R. So I, this is equal to V by R and this is 6 divided by 6, 1 ampere. So one ampere of current is passing through A and one ampere of current is passing through B. Now we know the individual resistances. We know the current passing through it. Let's try and find the power dissipated across power dissipated in each bulb. So that will be our third step. Third step is power dissipated in A. This is equal to I square into RA and power dissipated in B. This is I square into RB. So I is just one into RA which is 4 ohms and for power dissipated in B this is I square again 1 into 2 ohms. So this is really 4 watt power dissipated in A is 4 watt and power dissipated in B is 2 watts. So there you go. These are the power dissipated in each of these two bulbs.